I was having the most amazing conversation yesterday with a friend of mine who is this brilliant educator. And I've been having a hard time last few weeks. And I've been using this phrase occasionally with only specific people where it's like, oh, I'm really feeling autistic lately. And interestingly enough, nobody has asked me, well, what does that mean, Melinda? Everybody's like, well, yeah, that's not autistic and that's not autistic. And that's a little insulting, honestly. And the truth is, is what I mean by I'm feeling a little autistic lately means what's already highly sensitive is amplified like a thousand percent. I am so, so sensitive right now to vibrations. Like right now, look, cat on my chair licking itself. And it's shaking the chair and I'm just like, I am resisting the urge to kick my cat off the chair because he's shaking it. But it doesn't feel like just a little shake to me. It feels like, you know, they say don't shake the baby because you'll detach the retinas. Like it feels like this intense, intense, like someone is rattling me. Sounds are super, super, super sensitive. And my ability to process things slow as fucking molasses. But the greatest thing that my friend said to me yesterday is if you've met one person with autistic, autism, you've met one person with autism because we all experience it differently. We all are part of this massive spectrum. And I know for whatever reason, and I don't understand why it upsets people so much, is that, yeah, there's a big spectrum. And yes, it is growing. And I believe, I believe that this autism spectrum thing is just the natural evolution of the human nervous system. We're evolving. We're evolving at different rates, different places, different ways. And so this highly sensitive thing that I feel, not everybody's going to feel it the way I do. I get it's a spectrum. But you know what? I'm not using it as a crutch. I just like, wow, I'm really, really feeling overwhelmed to the point where it feels debilitating. It feels like I'm having a hard hard time going out and being in the world right now. Is it going to always be like this for me? No, absolutely not. You know, there's things that are happening in my life right now that are amplifying the sensitivity that I'm experiencing. Yes, there are. Are there things that I can do about some of it? Yes, there are. Are there things I can do about some other parts of it? I don't know yet. Yet. Maybe. Maybe down the road I'll figure it out. But if you've met one person with autism, you've met one person with autism.